So I've been working on a massive project lately. It's actually getting pretty big. I might have to break it up into multiple parts. Anyway, I've just had some things on my mind, so I figured I'd take a break from that and make a quick video. So I remember when MySpace came out and then eventually Facebook. I always thought it was odd how all these people basically just gave up their privacy and wanted to share their entire life with the whole world. Really, you're going to take pictures of your kids and put them up online for everyone to see? Yeah, okay. I guess I never understood why you'd want to talk to people online rather than face-to-face. -face. I'm not that old, but I did live in a time where there wasn't any of this social media shit, and you know what? The world seemed like a much better place, actually. But um, I realize now I have no other choice but to communicate with people online, like on YouTube, for example, because I have absolutely no one I can talk to in my own personal life. I've worked for myself for quite a while now. I work at home, so I don't talk to anyone anymore. Um, the only people I talk to are my family. All of my immediate family still lives in the same town. It's actually very awkward because I do try and spend time with my family. Um, I go over to my parents' house every week and hang out with my mom and my dad and my brother, sister, and her kids. We play board games and stuff, but I can't talk about anything around them, so I pretty much just have to play dumb the entire time. They all think I'm completely crazy and just roll their eyes whenever I bring up anything, so I don't even bother anymore. I feel like the reason people can't see truth is a crucial piece of this whole puzzle. Um, how can people look at the exact same thing and come to a completely different conclusion? It's literally like we're standing next to one of these people and we're both looking at a piece of dog shit laying on the ground, yet they can't see it. It's like it stinks really bad too and it's even covered in flies, yet this person still can't see it. It's that crazy. Anything we bring up to these people seems to trigger them too. Um, how can these people not see and why do they get so triggered whenever we bring one of these topics up? How can you look at astronauts flying around on harnesses or see them glitch out in front of a green screen and just say, oh well, how can you see an airplane fly right above you, spraying out shit into the sky and not even be curious what they're doing? How can you see someone laughing their ass off on TV after an event involving guns, after their loved one supposedly died? How can you look at this shit and just shrug your shoulders and say, oh well? Um, are most of the people in our lives just actors put here to act out a script? Are our own families even a part of this? I've seriously considered this possibility. I mentioned before it's like they're trying to distract me at times. It's like I'll be researching or just trying to finish up a video or something and I'll get a call and it'll be someone in my family and they'll just want something out of the blue. Um, more often than that though, it seems like they're um, the people around Truman and the Truman Show. It's like, it's like they know we're on to something and they do everything in their power to lead us back into the script and just keep us trapped in the matrix. It's like you'll mention something and you'll almost see a look in their eyes like they know we know and they're trying to lead us back into the lie we've just exposed. That's really what it feels like. The one that probably confuses me the most though is the poison in the food in the medical system. Nobody can seem to make the direct correlation that the food they're eating is causing their health problems and that's the reason they're having to take all these pharmaceuticals. Um, especially with my own family. They all see how much my health has improved and are actually starting to have problems themselves yet they just keep eating the same shit. They'll never see it though because they're so indoctrinated into the medical system it's unreal. They all just think I'm completely crazy. Um, I try and eat the best I possibly can. They all eat processed garbage, they're always drinking pop. They're always microwaving a lot of shit. They're really just eating poor quality food in general. Um, I cook all my food myself. I never eat out anywhere anymore. Anywhere you go, everything will be cooked in these inflammatory seed oils. This is one of the main reasons people are so sick. I don't give two shits how I appear to other people. I never have. Um, I don't care if I look crazy because in reality it's these people that are crazy. Um, sorry, I'm not crazy for wanting to avoid all this glyphosate-ridden food with all these chemicals you can't even pronounce. Yeah, sorry if I'm crazy for distilling my own drinking water because of all the shit in there. I've sold stuff online for a long time. I've had ups and downs, but now it's getting to the point where I'm really struggling. I have been for a while. I absolutely cannot go back to work for one of these NPCs. Um, I would literally lose my mind. Um, I've actually been working on filming some stuff for a second YouTube channel. I'll basically just be cooking food and talking about other health things. Um, it'll basically just be a normie channel that I could hopefully get monetized. Who knows? I have to try something. Um, I don't think this YouTube channel would ever be monetized. Um, it does say I'm very close to meeting the requirements, but it says they review your channel. Um, I don't think there's any way if you're a legit truth channel to be monetized. So in a way, I guess I'm selling out to the system, but um, I've actually already been sold out to the system for quite a while using these places like eBay and Amazon. So this is nothing like taking a job in church ministry though, for example, when I now know the whole thing is a lie. This is what I was going to do. I could have just wrote it out and dressed up and lived a lie every day, I guess. That's what most people think success is, uh, dressing up in some costume or another and pretending to be someone you're not. 
Um, I guess we all have to sell out to an extent, though, just to survive. Um, I actually probably work more than I would at a 9-to-5 job, but it's worth it to not have to deal with the wasted commute time and just general bullshit. I've honestly been pretty stressed lately. This isn't a sob story. This is just me being real. I also realize everything in my life I have manifested and created. It was a tough pill to swallow, but I have to admit I did all this, and it's only me who will change it. So when I was a Christian, it really just set me back because I just blamed all my problems on Satan. Uh, I think I manifested a whole bunch of shit from that. Um, I've recently discovered I have to take responsibility and stop blaming other people and non-existent forces. Health is so important. Even if you're eating whole foods, if they're not organic, they've been heavily sprayed with glyphosate and other chemicals. Um, Quote-unquote organic is a whole other story. I don't really trust that label either, but I do buy as much organic as I can. I just look at it as a better option, I guess, better quality. It's so crazy how people can't see the problem that this shit is twice as expensive either. Why is GMO food the norm? This, this world doesn't make any sense. Um, if this world was real in any way, um, organic would be the first option, and all this GMO shit would be something everyone else chooses to get. It's completely ass backwards. You have to pay out the ass just to eat natural food. Um, it goes so much further than that, too. Like I said, how everyone cooks everything in these seed oils, and a lot of people use this toxic cookware like this Teflon shit. Uh, this would be my mom. I've tried to tell her many times. I've realized it's a lost cause, though. Um, that's something else the system divides people over is food. I know there are these people that seem to be really stuck up and feel like they're superior to everyone for buying all organic. Um, I'm honestly not that way at all, though. Um, I understand there are those who can't afford it at all, so this division has been created on purpose. I use what um, very little money I have to invest it into my health. I can't afford absolutely everything organic, so I really just have to eat less and find a lot of things on sale, which I do. The only real organic food is the food you grow yourself, though. It's honestly depressing sometimes to go to the grocery store and see mothers with their kids loading up their cars with poison because um, I think most of them don't know any better. They're literally poisoning their own children, though. It's so sad. Um, of course, if these people are NPCs, I guess they wouldn't really be suffering, so that's one good thing to the NPC theory, I guess. The thing that really confuses me is the people in the organic section wearing face diapers. It's like, do you even know what you're buying? Because I don't think you do. I don't think it's possible to see problems or corruption in the food system to realize they're spraying all this shit down with chemicals, yet still believe in the corrupt medical system. It's like the other wing of the same bird, just like politics. The medical industry and the food supply go hand in hand. This is just another reason that makes sense for actual NPCs. These people in the organic section probably aren't even real, so um, I think something that a lot of people have in common that are awake is some kind of trauma that led them in to start really seeking the truth. Many people with uh, good paying jobs that live pretty comfortable lives I've noticed don't really seem interested in the truth at all. There may be some, but this is just something I've noticed. Something I've also noticed is that many people seem to resemble very similar traits to Stockholm Syndrome. They'll get very defensive if you try and help them and will actually side with the very people that are really hurting and controlling them over you. Um, at this point, though, it doesn't even seem like mind control to me anymore. It really seems intentional. It seems like um, people's responses are coming from somewhere else, like they're being fed lines or actually being controlled like a robot. Um, I recently burned the shit out of my hand a few weeks ago. I put some honey on it, and it not only stopped the burning in probably like 30 to 40 minutes, but it also healed a lot faster. Uh, I told my family about this, and their reaction was so strange. I told my sister, and of course these people believe the only, quote, medicine comes from a pharmacy, so she was like, oh, honey helped it, huh? Like she didn't believe me or something. Um, I told my mom, who burns herself all the time, and she was just like, oh, well, that's interesting, uh, but not interesting enough to uh, try it the next time you're burned, I guess. Um, it's this kind of shit that just makes me scratch my head. It's like, I'm telling you something useful here, and you don't show any interest? Yet if it's a news story or something popular, on the other hand, well, we can talk about that, because that's important. Um, by the way, make sure it's raw organic honey that you use if you do burn yourself. I found out they actually do make medical grade honey designed for this, but I think the raw honey will work just fine if you're ever burned. I think God might have been trying to show us over the last few years that these, quote, people we interact with every day, even those in our own family, might be actual NPCs. Um, it's so weird. My family thinks I'm completely crazy, and they know not to even bring up any of these topics around me, really. They're very nice people, and I love them because they're my family, but I have to be real here. Um, I don't think our lives are random at all. Everything seems so scripted. It's like these people, yes, including our own family, are just actors in this big movie we're in. It literally feels like we're living in the Truman Show. Like I said, it's like these people know we can see, and they're doing everything they can to protect the construct and lie we live in. At this point, it seems intentional. Um, 
I don't think these people are stupid. I don't think my family is stupid. So please let me know what you think and thanks for watching.